1961, Kuiper wrote an article called The Limits to Completeness, and his first sentence was, the membership of the solar system is not completely known. It was true then, and it's certainly true now, that Kuiper Belt is, in fact, an endless frontier. What an amazing collection of worlds. Many of them are primordial, but not all of them. And there's almost no greater part of the solar system in terms of helping us learn about the origin of our solar system and its evolution. There's no greater test of the, what we now believe to be a massive rearrangement of the solar system billions of years ago. And we have no idea where the Kuiper Belt really ends. Moreover, we've been there, okay? We went there, we passed by Pluto. What an amazing system. Everybody on the New Horizons team had their minds blown. We knew it would be interesting, but we had no idea how complex, how diverse the geology of Pluto, and indeed of Sharon, its big moon, would be. So what do we want to do? What are our scientific objectives? Well, obviously, we want to keep learning more. We want to keep using our telescopes on the ground and in near Earth orbit to extend the limits of completeness, as Kuiper once defined. We want to explore the medium-sized Kuiper Belt objects, hundreds of kilometers across, of which there are thousands. Telescopes are great, and they'll help us understand the true extent of the Kuiper Belt, but we'll never, ever learn about the nature of these bodies from ground-based telescopes. For a body like Pluto, though, another flyby is not what you want to do. You really want to explore deeper. So to really get at them, you need to go into orbit, because there are a lot of intractable scientific problems that you cannot get with a single flyby. If you're going to fly out there, you want to improve communications. You want to improve the bandwidth. You don't want to be sending data back for a year or a year and a half or two years. We want more power, lightweight, advanced RTG. And of course, if you're going to actually go into orbit or land, you need better propulsion. But dreams and visions are important if we're going to make any of this exploration come true. There's the trans-Neptune frontier, the limitless frontier of our solar system.